There has been released of a 911 call from just after the deadly accidental shooting on a movie set Thursday. 42-year-old cinematographer Helena Hutchins was shot and killed after actor and producer Alec Baldwin discharged a prop gun. Court records say that Baldwin was handed a loaded weapon by an assistant director who indicated it was safe to use just moments before the actor fatally shot the cinematographer. Santa Fe Fire and EMS wants a location of emergency. Uh, Bonanza Creek Ranch has had two people accidentally shot on a movie set by a prop gun. We need help immediately. Hutchins was director of photography for Baldwin's latest movie, Rust, which is being filmed on location in New Mexico. Director Joel Sousa was also shot. Baldwin tweeted today that his heart is broken over this tragic accident. Tonight, local filmmakers are reacting to what happened. They say that firearm accidents are rare, but they do happen. Fox 5's Lauren Martinez joins us now live with the safety precautions that they take. Yeah, Kim and John, you know, that accident and the details around it are still developing. For now, we're hearing from local film producers and cinematographers on the safety protocols they take when a prop gun is on set. It's sad. I think that as a cinematographer, a director, you know, you're you're on these sets and this is your job. And, and yeah, it's fun and stressful, but to die, I think, is, is a different story. So. The movie making industry is reacting to a devastating accident. Court records stated an assistant director unknowingly handed actor Alec Baldwin a loaded gun, told him it was safe to use moments before Baldwin fatally shot cinematographer Helena Hutchins. I, I've been thinking about this, like how how did this actually happen, right? Trey Wick is a Las Vegas filmmaker. He explained when explosions or weapons are on set, communication is key. He said there are three specific people that will handle a prop gun or real gun on set. A prop master, weapon specialist, and the actor. Before we start filming, first AD, first assistant director, has to announce about hot weapon flying to set. So everybody has to know about weapon being delivered to set. Now, once it's there, armor should show us that the barrel is empty. If he's using blanks, he should show us that it's actual blanks, which is not really 100% safe, but it's uh, definitely safer than any other you know, bullet. Ospisov's business partner, Joshua Cohen, is a feature film writer and producer. Cohen said statistically, movie making is a relatively safe environment compared to other professions. An accident like the one that happened in New Mexico rarely does. People love watching action movies and, and making that in, is inherently dangerous. And we, we go out of our way and spend a lot of time and money to make it as safe as possible. And, you know, unfortunately, it doesn't work out every time. Aspiring film students at UNLV are not allowed to have weapons involved in their projects. We do not teach it. None of our professors are armorers and none of our professors are uh, pyrotechnicians. Those are things that we go outside of our expertise and we bring in other people that have expertise in that. As for local directors like Treywick, he thinks it's a wake up call for those in the industry. I think it gets up, sets everybody back and resets and go, OK, right, this, the things that we do are dangerous sometimes. You know, I think that just because there's not an accident 100 percent of the time, it's just that one time that counts.